Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can repair your old broken transformer and I will show you how we can calculate the turns, winding turns for our transformer. All of the information you will find in this video and it will be very help you for you to uh, repair your old and broken transformer. Now, I have a transformer here. It is a, a 6 volts transformer, but it doesn't work. We will repair the transformer and make it just a new one for our uh, next projects. Now let me show you that it is not working. I got my multimeter and just set it to resistor mode. And as you see, the red part is primary coil and the blue one is secondary coil. Now we will check which one is broken, which one is doesn't working. Now let's first check the secondary coil. As you see, it is working. There is no problem with the secondary coil. Now check the primary coil. Well, as you see, the primary coil doesn't working. So this transform is broken down. We need to repair it. Now, let me show you how we can repair it. First of all, we need to remove all of the parts, the metal parts from the transformer and got the core inside the transformer. Now at this point it could be a little bit difficult to remove these metal parts so you should be a little bit patient for that. But after you remove the first one the other one would, would be a little bit easier. We are able to remove the first one. As you see, these are easier to remove. Okay, my friends, I removed all of the metal parts here. Now I have the copper wire coil here. Now, as you see, there are two coil here. This one is primary coil and this one is secondary coil. Now I will unwind these two coils and rewind them again and put everything together. Okay. See the copper wire here. Now open up the secondary coil. Ok, 
Okay, as you see, I'm going to winding the copper wire on this plastic tube in order to use in another project, maybe next. Okay, I removed the copper wire from the plastic core. Okay, as you see, I have the plastic core here, the first one. Now I am going to winding this copper wire onto this plastic tube. Okay, I unwinded the second coil. As you see, we have a lot of copper wire here. Also, this is a, one of the best way to having copper wire. If you need some copper wire, you can find an old broken transformer and remove it. Also, you can uh, have a lot of copper wire to use in your projects. Now, put it away. Now, I have two empty plastic coil. I need to wind them again. One of them will be the primary coil and the other one will be secondary coil. Now, I will wind them, but I need to calculate how many turns I need to wind. So I will show you how we can calculate uh, the turns of the copper wire. Okay, here's the formula that we are going to use to calculate the turn numbers of our transformers. Turn number equal is 42 divided by coil area. Now we are going to uh, calculate our coil, coil area. Uh, 42 divided by coil area you will get the turn numbers for each volt for each volt you need that uh, number of turn okay now we will calculate the coil area of our transformer Here I have 0.3 millimeter copper wire. I will wind this copper wire onto this empty coil. Okay, my friends, I finished the winding the two coils. This is the first primary coil and this is the secondary coil. So we will put them together and put the metal parts into the coil and we will rebuild our transformer. Now let's start to rebuild our transformer.
Okay, we finish our transformer. Now it's time to test it and see the voltage and the current. Okay, now it's time to test our transformer. I have a DC bridge rectifier here. I just attached to the output of the transformer. So in this way, we can uh, measure the DC output of our transformer. Now let's connect our uh, multimeter to the output of the transformer. Now let's turn on the switch and see the result. Okay, as you see, we have approximately uh, 13.5 volts. We tried to make it 12 DC volts, but uh, you know, system sometimes could be a little bit changed. So the output voltage of our transformer is about 13.5 DC volt. Thanks for watching. You can use this transformer for any of your application. And I hope you enjoyed it and take care of yourself, my friend. See you in the next videos.